Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 for some more IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship action. We are heading to the one and only round on a street circuit uh, in today's video and that is going to be the Detroit Bell Isle track. Now in the IMSA series, there are some events that have all four categories, which is the DPI, LMP2, GTLM and GTD. However, in today's race, it's only DPI and GTD. So GT3 and the American sort of prototype category, which is good because this track is pretty small uh, and it gets really busy it's really narrow uh, so as soon as we hit traffic I'm expecting it to go absolutely mental I mean if you watch this race in real life um, from last year on the IMSA actual sort of YouTube channel it was absolutely insane so I definitely recommend going and giving that a watch um, but hoping that we can actually just survive this one we've had uh, struggles so far this year on the IndyCar side of things we've had some actual success in the IMSA series but yeah it is going to be messy so <laughs> anyway without any further ado I'm going to go do a quick qualifying session and set the grid and hopefully we can get this Penske Acura as far up the grid as possible alrighty so that's qualifying done managed to qualify third we're around half second off the pole it's actually a Mazda 1-2 here at uh, Belle Isle. I actually think it was one of the Acuras that won last year's race in real life. Now, this is going to be pretty messy. I'm not going to lie. The AI on any street circuit on R-Factor is always, or R-Factor 2 is always um, pretty interesting. So I'm not sure how this race is going to go. We're going to have to make one pit stop. It is a 25 minute race. So a nice little sprint race um, as is sort of the nature of the IMSA sort of Belle Isle Grand Prix or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's enough talk. Let's head down onto the grid, get this formation lap underway as a rolling start, of course, in the uh, IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Uh, basically... Every uh, sports car championship in the United States is rolling start. Alrighty, here we go. IMSA at Belle Isle. Green flag is in the air. Oh, this is going to be tight. And these cars are just so insanely fast on this street circuit. Alright, survive turn one. Okay, that sort of turn two as you come over that rise is not quite um, as big as what it is in real life. So you can get away with not having to sort of nurse the car over it. I just missed the apex by about three miles back then. Now, because it is quite a short lap, uh, short lap, we are going to be hitting up this GTD traffic soon. There's no GT, LM and LMP2 cars around here, which is, <laughs> I'm kind of glad about to be honest, because that would be absolutely insane. That'd be so many cars on such a small little street circuit. Oh, big dive bomb. No, this is actually a pretty good rendition of this track. Um, iRacing has an awesome laser scan version of it, which is by far the best rendition out there in sim racing. Um, but this is pretty close for a non-laser scan track. I mean, that, as I said, that rise is not quite as as sketchy as what it is in real life. But in fact, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, Google uh, pace car crashes at Bell Isle. That was quite funny. That's why you never put rich people with no driving experience or racing experience in expensive sports cars especially in front of thousands of people they built the wall there and somewhat keeping with these guys in front of us I don't know why the masters are really quick around here on this game notice I'm really struggling through this first sector it's the last sector where I seem to make all my time up really struggle to get this thing rotated out when I'm off the throttle. I played around with the diff quite a bit in practice and learned a little bit, so got it better, but still not quite rotating like I'd like it to. Man, on the edge. Slowly gapping the Acura behind us though, that's helpful. Can't get 
get that braking zone right. So if you do have R Factor and want to check out any of the mods in today's video, they are uh, all in the uh, link below. Well, description below, I should say. Links in the description below. Okay. It's hard to talk and uh, <laughs> operate one of these things. This is still by far and away my favourite um, R Factor 2 mod out there by a mile. I really do like this car. This is the most fun multi-class racing I've had offline. Really close to that outside wall. This is quite a narrow street circuit. I mean, all street circuits are narrow, but this one just feels so much more narrow than probably what it is in these cars. Expecting that GTD traffic to pop up at any moment. We are around, I think, 12 seconds lap quicker. I mean, these DPIs are just ridiculously quick. They're faster than an LMP2 car, but not quite as fast as the LMP1s. Okay, we're just sort of holding station in third. Giving it too much beans right now. I'm gonna fence it with 20 minutes still left to go. Although this Alexander Rossi sister Acura is catching us up. If you are a motorsport fan and you like multi-class racing or prototype racing you have to watch this race from last year it's on the IMSA YouTube channel I watched it last night while I was doing some practice for this video and it was just such an insanely good race I mean these cars really are awesome ah, struggling to get it pulled up there right, once we get to the GTD field, I think we are we've been better than the AI um, prototypes at passing them, the slower cars so, so I'm not trying to make any moves on this car in front right now Curbs are so tall. Thankfully, this uh, suspension on these cars aren't too bad. Well, on this mod, anyway, they you can get away with riding them, but in real life, you touch one of them and you flick right off. Compared, well, just going off what I saw in the videos. I haven't driven here in real life. Wish I could have. To be honest, the best thing about this mod is the way the car responds to how you actually uh, input a change or try something out setup-wise on the car. You know, I, a couple of things I did in practice, and I actually got a, a response. You know, that was that's the worst thing in trying to set up a car is when you make a big change and all of a sudden it feels, you know, exactly the same as the last time you went out. And you end up double back, double back, and try and see whether you actually made a change or not, or you try and scratch your head as to why that didn't make any difference, but. No, every time I try and change something on this car, it does exactly what I expect it to do, which is always really helpful. Third through there, come on, Joseph. 
concentrate. Oh god, here's the GTD traffic. This is about to get interesting, lads. Alright, so we need to try and make some moves. Oh, he's pinched himself there. This is going to be an easy second. Oh, got a bit of curb there. The guy behind us. <laughs> leader four or five seconds behind still quite a big gap time to get a wriggle on straight. Uh, quite a decent contact with the wall there, but got away with it. You can get away a lot uh, with a lot more you know, effects too than what you will in real life. Um, and certainly than what you would on iRacing. We gained two seconds on that last lap. This track is so dependent on where you hit traffic and how lucky you can get. You know, over a 24-hour race or a 12-hour race, sort of all evens itself out but in a 25 minute race you know you can just happen to catch them all in the wrong spots so far we've been pretty lucky I must admit it's not quite got the pace for the leader though it's alright not quite halfway there yet so hard to get right. Okay, leaders in traffic, so try and make up some, some ground here. This is the rest of the GTD traffic. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I tried to pass him and he was trying to pass the guy in front of him, so... That didn't work out too good. Squeeze. Alright. Yeah, good. Cost us a bit of time there, mind you. Uh, hey, uh, Mazda in front of us lost quite a bit of time as well, so I guess that evened it out. Although we just had to catch this Audi out of the pits, didn't lose too much time, that's right. Sorry, 12 minutes. 
going to have to wait and make that one pit stop here at some point. I'm waiting to the last moment because you never know when a caution might come out. Get lucky. Ooh. guy in, still three seconds behind, lost a little bit more on this lap. Come on baby, let's go! Nailed that. Big move, big move, big move! Oh, jeez. Maybe my fault. <laughs> ah, cost us more time. It's like every time we make one step forward, we go two steps back. Ten minutes to go. So we're going to come down to the pit stop. I would hate to be a GTD driver in these IMSA races in real life. They just slosh it up the inside. Hope for the best. Yes, I did just say slosh it up the inside. It's an Australian lingo thing. Actually, no, it's more of a me just made it up just think. Ah, <laughs> uh, I talked so much shit. Alright. Ah. Slowly catching the guy in front, there's another three tenths on that last lap. Definitely better on the longer run than these guys. Oh, I missed that one. Ah! No, oh, it's alright, got away with it. Whew. You would not get away with that in real life, by the way. Master is struggling on its tyres. Here we go. This is the opportunity. We're doing all right, aren't it? I must admit. I mean, I've been aggressive, but not too bad. Certainly, I've been locking up wheels or anything like I've been struggling with in the past races. Seven minutes. 
จาเดนWide on my days. <laughs> Squeeze. Oh, we got him. Oh, Jesus! What in the world just happened there? Okay, that was retarded. <laughs> All right, well we're in the lead. Uh, let's just saw a Porsche go flip in the <laughs> the rear windscreen there. That was very random. Anyway. Right, well, we're going to have to pit this lap. Right, let's try and make this good in lap. Lo really lucky with the traffic just then. It was very messy for a second there. Oh, turn you bitch. Ah. So we are lucky to still have all four tyres facing the right way. I have nibbled the wall more than once. <laughs> We've just about done all four corners. Ah, come on, just change gears. You may notice me changing down that extra gear. Usually that's not the right way of going about it because you have to sort of change back up straight away and it costs you acceleration. However, in these cars, you can change gears so quick and um, I like to really get that extra bit of rotation by having that higher sort of gear ratio when you drop down a gear if that makes sense right, it's and in we go hit the marks alright let's go Back out. Uh, are we going to still come out in the lead? I think we are. Come on. Let's go. It's a really good in lap. Got on the marks perfectly. And we have come out with a big lead. You. I think it was just the fact we had no traffic on our entire in lap that really helped us out. We got a 10 second margin on the guys behind. Yeah, boys. minutes to go. Nine second gap. Should just be able to cruise the end here. Eyes are so much better than me on new tyres. He's really slippery on this opening lap. And we got traffic. Yeah, don't want to make any mistakes. Oh, no, get out of the way. Uh, that cost us some time. Come on.
Right, well, definitely kept the gap on that last lap even. Here we go, final lap of the race. Just bring this thing to the finish line. Ooh, grab another win. Time has expired. And this has been a really fun race, I must admit. I do love this street circuit. It's so much fun. This last lap has been hot as well. Jesus. Six tenths up. Just about nailed every sector so far. Oof. What a way to finish the race. Fast lap on the last lap as well. And a win. Woo! Yeah, boy. Man, that I'm happy with that one. That was hard fought. <laughs> it's very rare do you actually have a race where you pretty much don't make a mistake. I mean, we nibbled the wall a couple of times, but such is life on a street circuit. Oh man, all right, it's nine second gap in the end to one of the Mazdas. Actually, it was another Mazdas as well, finished third. So, oh, mate, take a breath. Whew. Driving on a street circuit at one of these is, is not easy. But anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Some more IMSA content to come throughout the year. I think we've still got race at Road America, race at Road Atlanta as well, Petit Le Mans. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so subscribe if you've enjoyed this one and stay tuned for more to come on the channel as we go throughout this sort of recreation of the 2020 motorsport calendar, what was supposed to be 2020 motorsport calendar. And uh, until next time, catch you guys later.